Most deaf, most deaf, it's all about that vlog time. So something unfortunate happened to me where there was a vehicle accident that took my vehicle away from me, totaled it. Which pushed me in a situation where I had to get a new car, which I did, but it made me start thinking about the vehicle that I got. That is more like a performance vehicle. All these bells and whistles and things to it that aren't necessary at all to do its main function, which is to get you from point A to point B. It just got me thinking about how many other things in life does something like this apply to us? Do we? get unnecessary things to fulfill very small little excitements in our life maybe so maybe this is a good example like my car i could have got probably a much cheaper vehicle than the one i chose and it would have absolutely fulfilled its function would i have been happy probably actually when i think about it because it's not like my last vehicle was like a huge performing vehicle but it always got me to where i needed to be and because of that i was thinking about you know to get to your certain destinations that you're trying to get to those things always make me more happy meaning like right now i'm literally doing something that i call a passion of mine filming vlogging you know taking photos just walking around which is definitely more fun than driving my sports vehicle even though i enjoy driving the car this right here overrides that whole experience you think we do a lot of unnecessary moves like this in our lives. Are we making decisions on things that cost more to do a function that something else can do for a lot less? Is it worth it? I don't know, I just thought it was kind of an interesting thing. Yo, hey guys, I just ran into this dope young brother right here who was hauling at me, saw me with my camera gear, wanted to talk about that creative life. I just want to introduce him in the vlog because he's passionate about this. I think he's going to grow big. We probably going to kick it and create, but I want to put in my vlog right now because this could be day one and we're going to see later on how he's going to be later and you just, it's going to be impressive, I'm sure. Let's meet my brother, Wayne. Appreciate you stopping, man. The, yeah, the, the, yeah. Shafril, right? Shafril, very yeah, good, bro. Yeah, very yeah, good. yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, yeah, listen, yeah. so, you know, just uh, uh, I'm a part of the uh, Black Run organization. You know, bro, let's grow, you know. 5K run a day, man. I, I was riding past and I sent this, this brother with the camera, man. And every time I see people with cameras, I just, even if I don't know them, you know what I mean? Just stopping, you know, hey, how you doing, this, that, you know what I mean? I know it's crazy out here in the world. But I stopped this 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 uh good brother right here, man. And luckily he was one of those good brothers, man. And I had to like, you know, show him that I was on the same type of term. You know what I mean? What you talking about camera that is? Oh, uh, this oh this is a Sony A4. Something something I just got. That's uh, it. A74. Uh, that uh, is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But what really made me stop is this is this beautiful lens right here, man. You see, I got the kit lens, but yeah, man. Um, I've been wanting to do this 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 camera stuff and you know. For a minute, man, and you know, like I say, every time I see it, this people, other people that's doing the same thing, it just kind of like draw me to them, even if I don't know them or not. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's that's one of my main goals, and like to learn as much as I can and just pass it down to my son. For real. That's my that's my main goal. So yeah, being, being creative and you know passing it down to my loved ones so they can you know carry it on with them in their life. You know, so I appreciate this man right here, man, for really just really stopping because it's really crazy out here. He ain't had to, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm I'm glad he did, and then I had to show him, show him and prove. Like, look, yeah. I, I, I come to, I come for bad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know? You know? So yeah, I'm, I, and, it, and it's nothing but God, man, who did it, man. So I, I definitely praise him, man. Most high, man. All right, all right. Yo. Most deaf, most deaf, man. Boy's gonna be fire, I promise that. He, when he sticks at this, it's gonna be fire with him. Yes, Man. Be, on a, be on a look, man. Yeah. All right, bro. You keep living that creative life. Most definitely. That's, I, that's like the I say, message. Man, I appreciate you once again, man, for stopping, man. Well, be on the look for some, you know, some content coming, man. You know. All yeah. right. You yeah. have the grandest day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
Let's grow, man. <laughs> Let's grow. Yeah. Most deaf. I'm extremely excited because today I'm about to read a comic book, which I had not done in a very long time. The company is called Majestic Comics, and I think this is a brand new series. I think uh, this is issue 000, meaning the very first one of it, which is really exciting because I now own this comic book because I had bought it and it's mine and it's the very first issue of it which is really cool to think about because if this like blows up and just goes big it's really cool knowing that I got like a first one of it. The name of it which I'm not going to say correctly but I'm going to try Etropy and Entropy and for the people that know how to read I'll just show you the title of the comic book and you'll know how to say it correctly because I don't know how to read very well unfortunately but let's get to it. Okay, let's talk about this comic book. I had finished it. And it's amazing. It's, it's definitely dope. And it's dope for several reasons, multiple reasons. The illustration, the drawings in it are just beautiful. Everyone that knows me knows that I'm huge into like cosmos and anything like universe related. And this comic book is all about that. It's just space, atmosphere, planets, beautiful star systems, and, and like even in the illustration of the characters, they have like, it looks like galaxies in their armor, inside their clothes. It's like you look at their outfits and it's like you're looking off into space when you stare into them. The artwork is just absolutely gorgeous. And then the story of the comic book, you know, I'm not gonna give a lot of the details because it's really important for you guys to discover it yourself, of course, but it, it involves, I, you know, I think it's like, I'm not great at this, I'm going to be clear, explaining these type of things, but I'll just try to keep it to as simple as I can. And it's like between like civilizations and, and space and it's interesting because I think there's like, like two different groups of civilization going on and they just have like, they have like, they have their own views on how to live life, but yet their views are like different, but yet it's like they have goals that they're both trying to reach that are like completely understandable and then they both like have these ideas that make sense but just how they go about it you know one side maybe doesn't like it that way and the other side doesn't like the way the other side does it and then not to also forget to mention that two of like the main characters so far in, in this series is like interesting I think they're like they're like best of friends though like they really like care about each other but they're kind of like from two different galaxies and and yet they understand each other and they also disagree with each other all at the same time and it you know there's like conflict with that of course um which you know it, it's 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 a great story and and another thing i should touch on is that all right so for me i'm only talking for me personally um most people probably don't have this problem but for me you know like i feel like i am constantly always learning new words in my life like i just feel like i'm very very behind on just vocabulary and understanding what words mean so this comic book for me it challenges me to look words up and try to find the meaning behind them because i don't i don't necessarily know what a lot of the words mean in in this comic book but for me that's good because it just it continues me to continue to learn <laughs> um, about vocabulary and definitions and just cool ways to communicate and use cool words to get certain meanings across just other words to describe certain actions and things and this book has a lot of that so it feels like this book is it's not trying to take any of their audience for fools as if like they can't understand big concepts because I think a lot of people can and this book it kind of like talks to you as like a like like as an intellect like you are an intelligent person and 
and this will speak to you like that and so for me um, I love that world and I dive into that world but for me I have a lot of learning to do in that type of atmosphere so a comic book like this would be greatly beneficial for me to just expand my vocabulary honestly and that is something that I always look forward to doing and I'm not you know I can admit <laughs> these type of things but for me it gives me a chance to also grow grow in, in that form and this type of comic book will definitely help me in that case um, you know like I said I'm not the one to really dive into real details on what this book really is because you may read it and get a whole different view and you know perspective on it which would be fantastic because that's always great helps build conversation um, just saying like anyone that's like into comic books or just into good storytelling you know something that's like intelligent something that makes you think something that you know like this makes me constantly think about the universe and just like what is the cosmos like con you know i'm you know that's something i'm always going to be interested for the rest of my life and of course i will never know most of it <laughs> even you know till i'm dead i will never have any of that completely solved but that makes life fascinating and fun and a comic book like this just keeps me tuned in to those things that i appreciate in life and learning about the universe in a fun way with fun storytelling and kind of fantasy world but also kind of based on like you know possibly like real concepts you know with physics and, and just thinking about how because it, it's always more interesting to me to learn about stuff that actually oh it could be possible versus things that's just magic and it's just because we said so like that's that's not interesting it's not even real so just wanted to put that out there this I think this is a great comic book and I think anyone that has just any interest in any of this should definitely, you know, maybe get yourself a copy of one of these and especially since it's like the very, very first issue. I'm telling you, that's just, that's really dope to know that I own like a first issue right now of this. So, yeah.